Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 15 of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. Now we started the January transfer window in the last episode and you guys gave me loads of feedback in the comments towards which particular player of the three that I gave you would like to sign but we will see what happens with that later on in the episode because of course as you can see we've got Hull City away from home in the first game of the episode. Currently sat sixth, three points behind Arsenal in fifth and uh, just a little bit out of touch with those European spots but they're not so far out of reach so we aren't going to be able to get there within the next few games. If we can pick up three points here against Hull then uh, we definitely stand a good chance of uh, getting closer to those perhaps maybe even uh, before the end of the month let alone the end of the season but we're going to create a good chance here nice flowing passing move Willian just somehow manages to squeeze in across and Oscar's going to go up with a great header back across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner and that was all created really by the uh, tenacity of Willian on the edge of the box not really giving up just turning this way and that trying to find the space for the cross does so and uh, two devastating effects as you can see and he's going to get himself on the score seat here Torres races away plays it back to Willian it's kind of a long standing one too because it was Willian that played that ball down the channel for Torres to run onto and he kind of scuffed the shot to be completely honest so I was hoping for him to just rifle it up into the uh, the top of the net to make sure the goalkeeper stood absolutely no chance but in fact you, uh, you'll you be able to see it better from uh, from this second replay see he kicks the ball into the floor and it just scuffs up a little bit but fortunately it's enough for the goalkeeper not to be able to get down to it at his bottom right hand side and uh, we're able to make a, a two goal advantage in the uh, in the second half but Fernando Torres comes close to a third here strikes the ball kind of tamely actually I wanted him to get a little bit more power on the shot but it trickled on towards the far post the goalkeeper I think it's Alan McGregor isn't it the uh, the whole city goalkeeper can't get down to it and um, unfortunately this time Fernando Torres can't get us that three goal advantage it strikes to outside the post but uh, they were going to be lax in possession here playing the ball to uh, tw straight to William Oscar plays it into Lamps super goals for super Frank an absolutely fantastic shot from distance again from Frank Lampard he's finally starting to score a couple of goals for us in this career mode because he really hasn't been chipping in that much when it comes to uh, actually getting on the score he's got a few assists perhaps but uh, when it comes to actually putting in the ball into the back of the net himself he hasn't been doing as well as we may have hoped but uh, great shot there right into the bottom corner and after uh, the goal he scored against Liverpool a couple of episodes ago it may even have been the last episode to put us 1-0 up in that game early on he rounds the three goal haul off in this one to give us three points with a 3-0 win away at Hull so uh, we're going in to put an offer for Arturo Vidal the offer of 14 million was rejected so I'm going to offer 15 and a half and Vidal was the player that uh, most people voted for in the comment section of the last video the options were of course um, Paul Pogba who as you can see we've had a contract offer accepted for but we're going to stall that Arturo Vidal and Freddy Guarín but Arturo Vidal was the player that got the most votes like I say and we had the 15 and a half million pound bid accepted we're going to offer him a contract of £130,000 a week for three years crucial first team player because of course he will be starting in the first team we'll be dropping David Luiz to centre back and putting him in the starting lineup alongside Ramirez but it is Luiz and Ramirez to start in the CDM roles as we come up against Sunderland for the third time already this season we've played them once in the league once in the Capital One Cup where we were able to come out victorious and now we've got them in the FA Cup at home fortunately because we did struggle away from home we were able to beat them 3-0 at Stamford Bridge in this Capital One Cup tie earlier on in the season so we're hoping for a similar performance this time around it is of course in the rain and uh, David Luiz shows great strength there in the air to bat away two challenges you'll see from the replay bumps the first player out of the way actually goes down and gets injured and then just overpowers Jack Colback as well unfortunately for him the header does go wide of that far post but Ramirez is going to have a decent shot here as well blocked actually by the defender probably was going to be on target nonetheless but so uh, Oscar is going to have the chance to whip in another corner from that far side and David Luiz is going to try his best to get on the end of this one and if you see as he comes in this time he's not actually picked up at all he's just able to ghost in from the back of the box meet the ball head on and power it into the back of the net it's an easy goal for him and that puts us 1-0 up but they were going to come back at us towards the end of the first half. Chalutska is going to whip in a ball for Josie Altor to try and head on target and uh, the challenge from Gary Cahill was woeful he really didn't go up and meet the ball as I wanted him to and uh, we were fortunate there that Altador was off target with his chances great technique on the head you watch him absolutely throw everything into it but it just goes past that far post and uh, we are able to take a 1-0 lead into the second half and uh, we were trying to get a second because of course one goal is so so precarious it's a, a horrible position to be in 
in. And if they make a mistake here, Wan Mata picks the ball up here. And I was pressing chip shot, chip shot, chip shot. And he just wouldn't take it for ages. And then shot across the floor. And unfortunately, just hooked it too much with his left foot past that far post. And we weren't able to take a second goal and put the game to bed. But we're going to get another chance again here. Aspi shows great feet to get away from the defender there. Plays the ball into Torres, who's just brought himself back onside. And unfortunately, he strikes the ball straight at the goalkeeper, Kieran Westwood, rather than trying to find one of the corners. So we aren't able to extend the lead. But nonetheless, we are able to come out with a victory. So we're, uh, we're through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Our next game is the first leg of the semi-finals of the Capital One Cup. But we have a huge moment here. I'm not going to sell one matter for £37.5 million to a fellow Premier League rival. Do not worry. But you'll be able to see a little bit as we, uh, as we go through. I'm going to put in a counter-offer of £55 million. Now, it's going to take at least £50 million for me to be able to part with a player like Juan Mata. And hear me out, because the... Uh, there's only one potential replacement that you could find for Wan Mata for that sort of price tag, and that would be Marco Royce. And Marco Royce is, in my opinion, a better Premier League player than Wan Mata. He's faster, he's stronger, he's a better FIFA player than Wan Mata, crucially as well. And uh, I think it would be a good signing if Mata went out and Royce came in. But we'll have to wait and see. Liverpool will, will probably just bat away that £55 million off and be like, no, you've asked too much, he's not coming to us, won't go anywhere, and we'll stay as is. But we'll have to wait and see how that situation develops. But uh, that is going to be the end of this particular episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please feel free to leave the video a like, if you could be so kind. We've hit 60 on the past couple, so that'd be superb if we could do that again. And, uh, of course, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. There is a link in the description or an annotation on screen to, uh, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And if you missed the previous episode, which came out on Tuesday, there is an annotation on screen over that snippet of gameplay you can see there. And uh, it's actually Frank Lampard putting us one up against Liverpool, the goal that we mentioned earlier. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.